graph the hyperbola, and then they give us a hyperbola equation. Okay, so how do we graph a hyperbola? It's very similar to an ellipse at first. Um, rewrite this 25 as 5 squared, this 16 as 4 squared. Whatever's underneath y, you know, whatever's underneath y is always up down, isn't it? Because y is up down. So starting from the origin, go up 5 and down 5. And then whatever's underneath x, that's always got to be right left because the x axis goes right and left. So right and left 4. So, so far, this is just like an ellipse. Here's where it's different. Normally, at this point, if this was an ellipse, I would um, draw the ellipse like this, right? So the center, the center is 0, 0. There's nothing up here next to y, nothing next to x. So the center is 0, 0. And then I would draw the egg shape because I went up and down 5 because that was underneath y, right and left 4, that was underneath x, and I'd have the egg shape. But this is not an ellipse. So let me go back, and instead of that, what you have to do is you make a dotted box. Instead of that oval, you make a dotted box through those same points. We're still using the points that are up and down 5, right and left 4, but we're making a dotted box instead of the um, oval, and then you start from the middle, and you go right through the corners of the box. Shoot right through the corners of the box. Like that. And those are called asymptote lines. Let me write that for you. Asymptote lines. In other words, those lines, asymptote lines are lines that guide a graph, aren't they? You've done asymptote lines before. They guide the graph. Now, where does the graph go? A hyperbola is either going to have branches that go up, down, or right, left. How do we know? If y squared is in the front, then the branches go up and down. Two branches that turn away from each other. I didn't make that one very neatly and uh, go up and down. If x squared is in the front, we have branches that go right and left. So, okay, so in this case, we have y squared in the front. So if y is in the front, the branches go up and down. So where, where exactly do they go up and down? Starting from the middle of the box, that point in the middle of the box, and, and one branch will go up like that, and the other one starting in the middle goes down. And they get closer and closer to those guidelines forever, right? Those guidelines guide the branches, guide the graph. So there we go. Now, um, let me show you how you actually do that on the graphing system they've provided. Basically, we'll go to it, but let me first show you in advance. You have to click on the center dot, which is going to be the origin in this case, and then the upper right, any corner, and I'm going to do the upper right hand corner, and then it'll make the hyperbola graph. Let's see it. And that, that's at, where is that? That's over 4, up 5 is where that center, that um, upper right hand corner is. Over 4, up 5. That 4 comes from what's underneath x, because that's right 4, and 5 is up 5 under y. So going to my um, actual problem here. Um, oh, it looks like I'm going to have to uh, log in. It looks like it logged out in between. Um, here we go. Let me... Um, okay, so... Oh, and now it's uh, giving me different numbers. All right, let me... Uh, See if I can get one that's the same as the one we had. Um, there it is. Okay. So this is working out. So let me make this a little bigger for you. So that's one just like ours. So how do we do it? <clears throat> well, I'm, you first off, you decide down below which one you're going to do. We're going to have branches go up and down. So i got to click on this one. This would be the other one. I want this one. So I'm clicking on this one. It's the up-down branches. First, you click on the center. Boom. And then where did I say we go? Over 
4, because underneath x is 16, up 5, boom, right there. Over 4, up 5. I clicked on that red dot, and there it goes. It made the branches up and down. See how they're hitting it 5 in the middle of the box? See the dotted box and the asymptote lines? And so there 